week. Okay, so I know a lot of you have not watched the last video. Uh, views were not up, but got the tracker die case saver in. Uh, just wanted to do a quick video here on how I'm gonna install it, uh, what it looks like going through the process. It's pretty simple. So you will need a 530 seconds uh, Allen and you will need a 1 8 Allen. So technically, the only thing you need to do to get this set up is you need to mock up the top part with the Delrin and the spacers. You want it to be a quarter inch below your case. You have between three eighths and a quarter inch uh, to play with. So they recommend that this is spaced three eighths of an inch to a quarter inch below your cam case. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna mock this top up. I'm gonna measure to see exactly how many shims I need to use to make sure that this is in spec with the instructions. And then like always, we're gonna use some blue Loctite and we'll get this put on here. Uh, also, I did order that Daytona Twin Tech uh, ignition module for this bike. So that will be coming next week. We'll be putting that on this bike as well. Uh, also ordered a couple things for my wife's bike. Did get a new helmet. Uh, I got a new full face modular helmet. We had bought one for my son and I really liked it. So this will go right in between your case here and your frame. So now the fun part is seeing how many of these we'll need to put on. I've seen a lot of people running three of these. So that's what I'm gonna test out here first. Make sure your Delrin is on there as well. So it looks like I might need to get all four of them in here. Yeah, all four of them is still giving me about a quarter inch here. Super simple process. This is a great product. Uh, actually very genius design here. And for anybody riding their bike pretty aggressively, I don't know about you, but definitely heard horror stories. 
people going down and breaking their bike, breaking different parts off their bike. So anything that I can do that's gonna kind of give me a little bit of peace of mind. Um, it's definitely worth it. I'm just trying to square it up. I want it as square as possible. So if it does fall, if that case does hit it, that it is evenly distributing the weight out across it, that is definitely about a quarter inch. Yes, sir. So that's perfect. And that way it just gives us a little bit of peace of mind. Uh, so now we'll start getting this bottom clamp put on here. Make sure the Made in USA is facing the outside so everybody can see that we do support American companies here. So it's a very simple product to put on, but I figured if I was coming out here to do it, I might as well bring you guys along. All right, so now we got all four of those started, <clears throat> and now I'm just kind of repositioning it, because like I said, I want that to be flat. Alright, so we got everything started by hand. Now we're actually going to tighten it down. Now, I don't think torque specs really matter on something like this, but what I'm doing is I'm still going in a circle pattern. Or star pattern, whatever you guys prefer, just to get it uniform on here. All right, so that's on there. It's not going anywhere. It's pretty tight on there. Uh, it looks like that's gonna work out just fine. So the next thing you guys will see will be me putting that Daytona Twin Tech on there. Uh, I will get that Daytona Twin Tech ignition put on the bike. I'll walk you guys through that. Um, it's going to allow me to run a multi-spark. It's going to allow me to set the advancement. It's going to allow me to change my rev limiter. So super excited to get that on here and to show you guys that uh, it's going to make this bike run completely different. So I hope I didn't bore you too much with this, but that is the Tracker Die Case Saver. Uh, that's how I installed it, mocked it up. Uh, make sure you use blue Loctite out there, people, because this is a Harley and uh, it's going to vibrate loose. So thank you guys for watching and stay posted. The next video will probably be up here in a couple of days once I get this new ignition on.